I have always had intense, toxic relationships. Finally in a healthy relationship with a great guy and no idea if what I'm feeling is normal. So I've never had a healthy relationship. My first and longest relationship was a codependent mess, which had insane highs and crashing lows. I deeply loved him, obsessed over him, even though in hindsight he treated me terribly. And of course, it ended disastrously, taking me years to get over. I've tried dating other guys since then, but either they weren't interested and just used me for sex, or I'd realize I was just using them for validation and nothing ever lasted. I eventually gave up on dating, and up until recently, I'd been happily single for about a year. A few weeks ago, I met someone at a university class, and we really hit it off. We were just friends, initially, but eventually started dating. We're getting pretty intimate, and I genuinely enjoy being around him. But I'm not really sure if I like him that much, or if I'm forcing it. But because of my terrible dating history, I've realized that I actually have no idea what it feels like to be in a healthy relationship. The thing is, he's smart and funny and super nice and actually likes me. He genuinely listens to me. He cares about my interests and remembers things I've told him. And he doesn't play arbitrary relationship games, all of which I'm not used to in the slightest. However, I don't feel like I like him as much as I should. I certainly do like him and I love hanging out with him, and the romantic, intimate stuff is pretty good. But compared to past relationships, as disastrous as they were, this one feels almost boring in comparison. I don't crave to be with him, I don't get wild fireworks when he kisses me, I don't feel my heart flutter when I get a text from him. I do feel a strong sense of affection that's almost a weird mix of close friendship and this guy is a dork, and I really like kissing him. And for the first time ever, I almost prefer just hanging out in his kitchen and making dinner together to being intimate, which is totally opposite to past relationships that were mostly built around sex. So I've been wondering how much of that lack of intensity is due to him not being right for me, or if it's because he is right for me. Maybe I don't get fireworks when we kiss because he freely kisses me all the time without making me work for it. Maybe my heart doesn't flutter when he texts because I know he'll always text back without making me wait for hours on end. Maybe I don't constantly think about him and crave his presence because I know he'll be there when I need him. Maybe the intensity isn't there because I don't have to fight for his attention or walk on eggshells or agonize about him not being there for me. I know I feel a sense of warmth, of contentment, when I think about him, and when we're together, there's not really anywhere else I'd rather be. Maybe that's enough? I know it's early days, but he's already expressed a strong interest in me, and I feel like my feelings aren't quite matched to his. Should I be feeling more intensely about him? Or is this just what being in a healthy relationship feels like? Update. A few months ago, I wrote about dating an actually stable guy after only having toxic relationships. The post got more traction than I expected, so I figured it might be nice to do an update. Thank you so much to everyone who replied to my post. All the replies really helped. As it turns out, the guy I was seeing found the Reddit post, clicked that it was me, and talked to me about it. Turns out he actually felt the same way in terms of low intensity, but he liked that, and I decided to keep dating him for as long as we kept having fun together. Well, I'm happy to say that last week we celebrated being together for six months, and that we are quite madly in love with each other. After we talked, I took the advice of some of the commenters and tried to just enjoy my time with him instead of worrying about the depth of my feelings. I soon realized that he's a kind, thoughtful, intelligent person, and we totally get each other. He makes me laugh with the most inane stuff, and he thinks my dumb jokes are funny too. We can talk for hours and hours about anything at all, and I rarely feel like I have to justify or explain my point of view at all. He just understands me. One of the first times I knew I was really falling in love, we were chatting in bed, 
and suddenly it was three in the morning and I realized we'd been chatting for three hours without a single awkward pause. I've rarely had that with anyone else and never with a previous boyfriend. I think most of the commenters were right. My other longest relationships were all built around toxic intensity and wild passion. And while this relationship definitely isn't lacking in the bedroom, I'd say it's much more built on a sort of close friendship and respect for each other. It's certainly not as filled with longing and deep passion as other relationships I've had, but honestly, I prefer being with him. I feel like I have not just someone to go out with or to cuddle up to, but a genuine life partner, somebody who supports me, who I can talk to about anything, someone who makes me want to be a better person. It just took me a while to realize how much better that calmer, more peaceful love is instead of the roller coaster long, intensely toxic relationships. And I almost made the mistake of thinking that it was boring and throwing it away. I really just needed time to get used to dating someone who doesn't play games and displays his affection openly and frequently. We did have some slight issues with communication to start with, mainly me being afraid to bring issues up, suggest things because of other boyfriends overreacting terribly in the past. But after we talked a lot, he's been very supportive and proven himself to be a mature enough adult that he can handle occasional criticism without getting super defensive. It's been really refreshing to be in such a drama-free relationship where we can argue or talk about issues in a really healthy way. Thank you to everyone who replied. You all helped a lot, and I'm really glad I took your advice and didn't just break up with him. I love him a lot, and I can see us being together a long time.